Rashmi writes in the style of confessional poetry, which is when the first person speaker relates her own thoughts and experiences. And her work is quite easy to understand. This book of poem is a moving work because of the pathos it evokes in the reader. And I will definitely say that her work will attract readers because of her attempt to present the despair, obsession with death and violent emotions in a very lucid manner. Rashmi writes about different issues and these include social restrictions on individuals, nature, individual desires, dreams, etc. But her writing is essentially different from other modern poets. She doesn't write with the superficial politeness, rather she is candid and she exposes the ugliness of what seems ugly to her. With the evening tea in my hand, I go through her poem, A Frantic Forage, where she expresses the primeval fears and elemental forces. At times, Rashmi's poems are hyperactive, perpetually accelerated, beating violently, and this shows her brutal honesty. Media Feelings, her first publication, and it evoked a kind of new sensation in me and has changed my perspective of certain things. And I tell you guys, Rashmi's poems are filled to the brain with gorgeous metaphors, lyrical cadences, and of course, rich vocabulary, which, you know, makes me feel so amazed that a young writer, a novice writer like her could assimilate so many things harmoniously. So let us go through some of our poems and make our life poetic. So let us be inspired. The secret of achieving anything in life is to relieve the outcome, the passions that are inherent in you. So let's go creative. Uh, in Rashmi Sarkar's book, Myriad Feelings, I feel that the bloodshed is poetry and there's no stopping to it. Poetry is gushing through her veins and poetry I feel is a tyrannical discipline and you've got to go so far and so fast in such a small space that you've got to burn all peripherals and Rashmi has done just that in such a short span of time. I felt I was listening to the brag of my heart so I took a deep breath and listened to all the brag of my heart. Possibly one of my favorite lines in upheavals and turmoils when my days are overcast with heavily laden dull gray clouds and I'm enveloped by an eerie darkness around and also the anguish pains the darkness gloominess and finally the glowing sun dazzles brilliantly are very very close to my heart then also the storms the temperaments the molten anger everything speaks about the dissonance that often exists between our thoughts and actions and how seemingly mundane things can lead to bigger events. Friends, it's been a difficult, anxiety-provoking, morally compromised two years of the pandemic. But at the same time, 
we have to admit it's been populated by some damn fine literature. And yes, Rashmi Sarkar's immediate feelings, an anthology of poems, is one such silver lining. If there's one thing that recent times have taught us, it's how vital human connection is. Long bouts of isolation during the two years of pandemic and social distancing have left us and our loved ones craving connections. Times like this remind us how powerful and nourishing the arts, particularly literature or rather poetry, can be to soothe us and help us find connection in a world of forced disconnection. And Rashmi Sarkar's poem and Igasm and many more are no exception. They have helped us find connection in this frenzied world after the pandemic. And as I read this poem, an eyegasm, one of my favorites from this anthology, I would like to opine that there is a kind of metaphysical significance as well as surrealism in this poem with a deeper meaning of life. While I am searching for a glimmer as my miseries and sorrows simmer, in the prevailing darkness blind, the darkness gets deeper and deeper. Pitch, black, scary, horrifying kind. I am motionless and still. As I sweat, strive and scream, though in a deep sleep, I can hear, I can feel that my senses defy me as I grip my arms and my limbs that refuse me and I trip. I'm overtaken, I'm overpowered. So this, you know, poem really gives me goosebumps. Rashmi Sharkar's poems showcase remarkable prosody, visual play and linguistic acrobatics with verbal dexterity and her diversity of expression, sonic, visual and the alchemy that comes from dismantling and reforming both cannot be contained in a single description and it's impossible to really forget, especially the lines and the biological warfare. It was we mankind who protested. Our human conscience was deeply stirred and that has led to the greatest realization. We have learned lessons for a lifetime and that has made all the difference. Also, some of our poems have a haiku-like structure, although it's not a three-line poem, but in the four or the five lines, like despondency, you will find that the whole cosmos is encompassed. This is the style that has drawn a lot of readers to Rashmi Sarkar's poem. The crisis of climatic change, or rather environmental change, has seen many poets of this era to reach out for newer expressions to alter the narrative regarding the challenges that we face and Rashmi has done just that. So in some of her environmental poems, we find her dynamism and also they are slightly elegiac and hopeful. So many of our poems we find are grappling with physical and economic dislocation. And through these poems, she takes a stand for the environment that we all share. Well, 
After reading Rashmi's Immediate Emotions, I would suggest all youngsters of this generation to sink your teeth into a selection of inspiring poems from some of our favorite feminist women writers, including Carol and Duffy, Maya Angelou, and Sylvia Plath, covering topics including feminism, immigration, identity, and environment. If these inspiring poems have sparked your imagination, why not take up your pen and get your own creative juices flowing? So, take up your pen and ignite the latent talent hidden at the depth of your minds. Thank you. Well, as I went through Rashmi's immediate feelings, I discovered that she has a way of expressing the inexpressible and exposing human nature through musical rhythms, vivid imagery, and powerful metaphors. And she has used her voice as a catalyst for social and political change. And so I would recommend everybody to go through her anthology of poems and she deserves our praise and adoration because she has inspired me and I'm sure she will be able to ignite social and political change or take a stand for the environment we all share. So guys, remember, I'm a writer. I'm a genius of a writer and I have it in me to carve a niche for myself. I am having a lot of phenomenal talent. So let me explore my talent like Rashmi Sarkar.